Imagine you're chilling on your PC, thinking of no harm, having a bit of casual racing fun, when suddenly, boom, and then, Yep, you've seen it correctly. Need for Speed is back in town. With Need for Speed Unbound, a new chapter for the legendary racing series is supposed to begin. But are we really getting excited for Need for Speed again? Haven't we learned from the past 10 years? Well, whatever. Let's take a dive and see what we're in for. And with that, welcome back to Overtake. Long time no see, Mr. Need for Speed. Ever since the days of Need for Speed Heat in 2019, fans have been waiting for an original title of the series. And with fans, I mean the player base that was still left after over a decade of lackluster NFS releases. Those who were shaped by the generation-defining releases such as Need for Speed Underground or Most Wanted and could still find that bit of hope for every game. However, if I recall correctly, Need for Speed Heat is widely regarded as not terrible. I've heard praise throughout the years for the game and even though it is practically non-existent anymore, the general consensus is that it was the best NFS we had in a long time. So it is probably not surprising that a lot of the remaining warriors bend it together in order to fuel excitement for the trailer of Need for Speed Unbound. When EA dropped that tweet we showed in the intro, there were a lot of rumors floating around almost instantly and if for nothing else it got the community talking. That's why it didn't take long until supposed screenshots of the game were leaked to the public which unveiled a completely new art style alongside some pretty interesting illustrations. Over the past releases the direction that Need for Speed was heading into was more of the fast and furious for racing games. They seemingly stopped trying to catch fans of the old product and tried to lure in newcomers instead with the deviating success that I mentioned. No wonder then when several characters were shown in the leaks, it was assumed the direction would be the same going forward, but with a totally different twist. How did it turn out? Let's take a look. Having spoken about the evolution of Need for Speed in the previous part, this will sound weird now. But the trailer for Need for Speed Unbound is like the pipe dream of any underground fan. It is more a callback to the golden times with a bit of new age in there. Streetlight? cop chases and pretty much everything we used to have and love seems to make a glorious return to this title. Apparently even wagering cars will see play again, as one of the scenes in the trailer includes an invitation for a race, with the car being the reward. Oh, and tuning seems to be back to the roots as well. As you can see in this shot here, several body kits are applied to the Nissan. In terms of the kinds of racing possible, I dare say we got to see drag make its comeback to the big stage. In a callback to all times, you see a car switch the lane after hitting NOS. Aside from that, the casual street racing at night, day or in between is shown. Shades of drifting competition is also visible. Especially the new art style has been a main focus of the reveal though. Almost every scene features some sort of neon animated-esque special effect. No matter if it's smoke, headlights or jackets, they all get that extra bit of uniqueness. If they end up in the game or not is not really confirmed, but the characters will surely stick to the style. Unbound will also star famous American rapper ASAP Rocky, who is apparently an NPC in the game. One thing that remained unnamed is which platforms and consoles the game will be released on. There have been reports that indicated only a release on new gen, which could be big news going forward. It all points towards one thing. Uh, do you feel it? I'm excited. Uh, blood pressure is rising while I'm talking about it. My hands are kind of sweating and I can't stop thinking about how this is gonna turn out. This is exactly where we all need to chill out a bit. If we take a step back and collect ourselves, we will be able to see the whole picture. First off, trailers are always made to look good. And so does this. Do me a favor and watch the trailer for Need for Speed 2015. You will see a lot of the same bus creators and it looks like a million bucks. It ended up just being a nice looking money sink and it was a release to forget about. I don't say this will be, but we need to be careful. In particular, because we only got to see the reveal just now. There's close to nothing else we know and we are still talking about EA here. The guys who have produced this series, even when it was bottom of the totem pole for 10 plus years. What everybody should recognize is the unique art style and some very positive signs that we may get a sort of remake for something most of us cherish even today. If you ask me, this resembles less of the need for speed we used to see in the past releases, even though we have so 
some similarities to the heat trailer present. It looks like it could be a test, something to test the waters and see if they can cater to a biosphere that has a long history with the franchise. No matter what or how we speculate, I will remain careful. Only then we will be able to enjoy the game if it ends up being better than expected. Need for Speed Unbound is set to release on December 2nd of 2022. So very soon we should learn more about the ins and outs of the gameplay side. Until then, I will patiently wait and I hope you will do as well. Thank you so much for watching. That's it from my side. See you soon and cheerio.